And now we're happy to be joined from Boston by the president and general manager of the New York Rangers, Chris Drury. Chris, thanks for doing this. Welcome in. And I just want to kind of start with you talked about so many times the whirlwind of these last couple of days. Now that the wind has maybe died down a little bit, take us through the myriad of emotions you've felt this week. Yeah, certainly starting to catch my breath a little bit. And, um, you know, as I said at the press conference, you know, Jeff Gordon and John Davidson are great men and were both mentors for me and uh, certainly leaned a lot on Jeff, you know, these last uh, six years. And, you know, it was lucky enough to be brought back in the organization by Jeff. And, um, you know, it was tough to, to see that for them, but I'm certainly honored and thrilled uh, to have this opportunity and, uh, you know, happy to be here. Drew, what an experience you've had this year. You found yourself behind the bench after being in player development and having a role as an associate GM, an assistant GM. You must feel prepared for this, being that you've seen everything behind the scenes. Yeah, that was definitely interesting, being on the bench. Um, you know, I was fortunate enough to come into the organization in development and, and, you know, work my way up and have seen and done a lot of different things in these last six years. And, you know, being on the bench, like you said, seeing the game from that angle, uh, it was a great experience and it had been a while for me, so it was nice to be back on the bench for a little bit. Chris, I know along those lines, maybe your first significant duty will be later this week when you conduct the exit interviews. What message do you want to impart and what message do you hope to hear back during that give and take with all the players? Yeah, you know, I think it's important. These last two weeks have obviously been a little rough, uh, you know, going into the island and when Truba got hurt, uh, it seems like it just... Uh, you know, steamrolled the wrong way for us with uh, injuries adding up. And um, but I want to focus on some of the good things for sure, and hear what guys thought were good. And you know, definitely uh, would like to hear what they think the future holds for them individually and collectively as a team. Drew, when we played together, you used to refer to me as Game Day Gary, with my preparation being as it was. Yours was intense too, and now your new battle is winning negotiations. You're not on the ice. Do you think you're going to take that same mindset and preparation with your new battle? Yeah, yeah, I think you have to, you know, I think it's, uh, you got to prepare, uh, you know, uh, for every step of the way here. And as a player, I always try to be, be there early and stay late and be prepared for whatever came. And uh, it's not going to be any different uh, in this job. Obviously, Chris, a change in hierarchy sometimes has a mandate for change. When you begin to think about and formulate a roster for 21-22, what does a Chris Drury roster have to contain? Well, I think we've got to take a deep look into what everyone's roles are. You know, I, I think we've said it a lot this week, and we have a lot of really good, talented players at different levels, uh, you know, of their careers, different ages, you know, different contract status, some lottery picks here and there, some high picks. Um, but I think we've got to get to a place where when, when you step over the boards, you know exactly what your role is, what you're doing that night, and why you're doing it. And I think this summer will go a long way to, you know, clearly defining that. Drew, after you were named president and GM, I told Chrissy, uh, it's my wife, uh, that this had happened. And she said, oh, my God, that's great for Drew. And I said, honey, this team's going to win now. This guy's won at every level, and he knows what it takes to be a winner. Uh, how do you partake in the exercise of just letting everybody know what it takes to win? Well, I think it's going to start a little bit with uh, the exit meetings uh, on Monday. Um, you know, I've obviously been around the team long enough here. And, you know, the last six years. So I think guys, you know, have a feel for what I'm like and what I'm about. And, um, you know, there's no shortcuts. Uh, you want to be a Stanley Cup winning team. Uh, you know, you got to be the first in the building in the morning and last at night. And I expect that from all the players. And, um, you know, I'm excited to, to see what uh, they say and, and what we could do to keep moving this thing in the right direction. Chris, you were quick on Wednesday. You were quick again today. The, one of the first things you said, to credit both Jeff over the last five years and J.D. over the last two, what specifically did you glean from them that you will most put to use? Well, I think just their experience. You know, they've obviously both been in the game for an extremely long time. Uh, you know, you throw Glenn Sather in there as well and Jim Schoenfeld, who I got to work for um, uh, before he left. And, um, you know, you just... They've seen it all and done it all in a lot of different ways. So, um, you know, just the day-to-day -day experiences and, uh, you know, getting to see how they react to things. And, uh, you know, I think that's something that'll stick with me for a long time. Drew, when I tell people about you, the man, the person, uh, off camera, on the ice, I always talk about how that I think now you're going to be a blend between a progressive guy, because I know that you guys use analytics the way that you do to evaluate. But at the same time, you've got those old school traits. Is that a fair explanation of who you are and what you're going to be as this new leader for the franchise? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's a good, good explanation. You know, I, I believe, you know, big time in analytics. Uh, I'm always looking for new ways to, to learn and to see the game through that lens. And 
Uh, I know you and I have had a lot of discussions over the years about it, and hopefully uh, we can con continue having those discussions. But, uh, you know, without getting into too much detail, it, it is a big piece of the puzzle for us, and we're trying to get all the information we can to, to make the best decisions uh, you know, we can. Chris Drury, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for the insights. Good luck and enjoy this ride. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Good luck, buddy. Uh, President and General Manager of the New York Rangers, Chris Drury.